it means a lot that I've passed on history, that I'm, that I'm proud of it. And I'd like to think that in the future other people can see it and would be interested in what my grandfather had done. Uh, my name is Jennifer Dole and my grandfather was Lancelot William Day. It's a bit sketchy, the information that they give you. Well, I believe he landed at Gallipoli. Uh, he seemed to be in France, um, England, but that was in hospital. Um, and Egypt and it said Alexandria. He was a little bit of a character. Very involved with his church, very involved with the Freemasons, and just loved people. Was always helping somebody. I bought in a couple of rail passes that he had in, in England. His discharge paper from the army saying he was medically unfit, not <laughs> dishonorably discharged. I bought in a couple of his pay books and a pay slip. And also, it's a little gold box with the Queen's insignia on it and a picture of her and the King. She gave it to them in 19... 15, the first Christmas they were away. That letter, I didn't know anything about it until my father died. Well, my dad kept everything in a box and um, I came across the letter. Well, I was quite amazed that how old it was and how long, you know, that it had been kept and what good condition that it was in. And then I decided, well, if anything happens to me, that will just get thrown out in the rubbish. So I thought, well, if somebody could use it, I'm happy to, to part, because it is history. Oh, it sounded very interesting, actually, that it mentioned other members of a a that were over there in the same area as he was. My name is Kevin Brown, and I'm the president of the Australian Natives Association Fraternal Organisation. a a was formed on the 24th of April, 1871, uh, when 14 men met at Grim Wade Hotel in uh, Elizabeth Street and decided to form a friendly society to help promote and uh, support the Australian born people. Australian Unity was formed by the merger of Australian Natives Association and Manchester Unity. It is history. They felt it was the right thing to do because on both sides, my mum and my dad's side, a lot of them yeah, signed up. Oh, I think it's very important to, uh, to remember. And when you go over there and see all the thousands of white headstones with no names written on them, it's a very moving uh, experience.